Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby West Unsell. In my personal opinion, West Unsell is the best card that came out today. It actually looks really good at the power forward position. I'm interested to compare him to the other top Ruby power forwards, guys like, for example, Joe Smith, Boris Diaw, uh, who came out on Friday's X Man, Xavier McDaniels, those types of guys at the power forward position. See if he is the best of the quote unquote budget power forwards in my team. I think he's going to be really good. I think he's going to be an okay defender, pretty versatile, good rebounder, able to create a little bit good speed and a good shooter. I think he's going to be an interesting all around card. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscribers remark on the channel i upload every single day tons and tons of my team content and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at wes unsold so he's a six foot seven and we're gonna play him at power forward i don't think center is good six seven six ten wingspan the afro makes him look a lot taller than six seven i've never had an issue with wes unsold's player build whatsoever 90 offense 82 defense 80 driving layup 84 post stats across the board 79 midi 77 three ball 75 driving dunk 75 ball handle 75 block 82 interior which isn't insane defensively but it's good 88 offensive and defensive rebounding 82 speed is really good for a wing uh, or i guess a power forward 88 vertical and strength also great and then 78 lateral quickness will get the job done. I think he's going to be okay defensively. I like the strength and vertical. Those two stats tend to help a lot on the interior defensively and as a rebounder. Uh, 15 goals, three silvers, and four bronzes are area wizard backed up punisher dream shake drops to perfect fearless finisher, master post spin, pro touch break starter, needle threader, box up beast brick wall hook specialist, big driver and physical handles. He's got catch and shoot relay passer and bulldozer on silver and then bronze claymore dimer post lockdown workhorse. Mostly some finishing badges with a couple of defensive shooting and playmaking badges all sprinkled in there as well. Well, um, his release, by the way, exact same release as Rudy Tamjanovic. It's still Kobe based John Collins upper, which is what he's had the last couple years. And if I remember correctly, it is still incredibly good. And this year, I think it's incredibly better. It was good last year, but I feel like this Kobe base is phenomenal this year. They have, it's good every year. Kobe's jump shot is always good, but this year it seems like it is absolutely incredible. It is so smooth and easy to green. And it's honestly hard to not green. That's the thing about this release. You're going to green almost automatically like it's one of those ones that just it flips it, it's it just clicks green it's like it's hard to not green with this release which i am a big fan of only a 77 three ball but i'm gonna have no problems whatsoever pick and popping and shooting with confidance with west on south also have no no problems whatsoever putting the ball the, on the floor creating a shot and then shooting off the dribble with him like people are not going to expect you to come with a, to catch the ball to power forward and create a shot to go to a side and shoot the ball like that's a shot you can shoot and people are going to give you that because they're going to expect you to try to go downhill and you can stop and go sideways and then get that type of shot pretty consistently Obviously, doesn't have quite a high enough ball handle to tiny burst or anything. 55 speed ball is not good, so he's not going to really be much of a creator, but he does have legitimately good speed. 82 speed is very nice. I feel like defensively, not going to really have any issues, especially at power forward, which I think is probably the least important defensive position in my team right now, to be honest. So I feel like you can definitely get away with running this West Sunset card, even if he isn't the greatest defender in the world, because he'll be good enough. High strength, high vertical, couple of decent badges, 82 interior, 78 lateral quickness. It will get the job done. This card's going to be super nice, though, and I'm super excited to try him out. So without further ado, Hop into a game. Let's check out what's unsold. I'll be completely honest. I was not paying attention at all and just gave up a wide open three to start off the game because I was on my phone. So my bad. But uh, let's attack the rim here and let's see what we can get going in this game. Hit it to West Unsell. West Unsell, we're going to post up this D-Wade dude. This D-Wade dude is not going to hold you. No chance. Let's go. Good D or good stuff by West Unsell. I understand D-Wade's a big dude for 6'4". Like he's got a big player build, long arms, good defender, versatile card. That is still a matchup that I'm taking West Unsell in 10 times out of 10. He makes a play out of the inside and gets himself a bucket. Remember, West Unsell's best attribute is probably his interior play. So even though he's only 6'7", people are going to overlook, I think, because of that 6'7", uh, size, his interior ability, and I think he's actually really versatile on the interior, and like I said, the speed is there, too. The ability to get around a defender and get downhill for a dunk, and he does exactly that. Already has four points in this game. Now, I've given up two wide open threes. It's probably time to start playing some sort of defense, at least attempting to pretend to play defense. This dude that I am playing does know what he's doing, though, so I'm a fan of that. Gives us a pretty competitive matchup. With that being said, we're going to reset the ball up top, and we're going to get a ball handler, because West Unsold. I don't want to tire him out from him try, from trying to do a bunch of ball handling with him and then him not be able to do anything the rest of the game because I need him to do that. And that is not what I need. I need a green. Oh, that's my bad. That is so my bad. Paulo gets a standing duck. That's a... S I, I, I talk about I was released as hard to miss and then I promptly miss it. Like, I, I don't know. Missing wide open there is is, is painful. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, but it is what it is. Wes, again, getting inside and standing ducking. Oh my goodness. Is he a paint beast? I like it. Good stuff by Wes Unseld so far. Couple of good dunks. Just my fault missing, man. That's that's unacceptable. I got to be better. Dude, I'm playing seems to be pretty solid at the game, though. He's definitely, his movement isn't too bad. He looks like he knows what he's doing. So we're going to X switch this, play the slip with Kawhi. And that's amazing defense. Should not be rewarding him with a stop. Switch back, though. X switch back. 
back. Nice. Good D. Now, cut up the dribble drive. Great defense. Let's go. Swing. Swing. Contest. Contest. No way that floater goes in. That's a tough shot, and he misses it. Wes Unseld is out on the break. Throw it up to Paul George. Paul George, front fade. Oh, my goodness. What a pass and what a shot. Let's go. Paul George with a really big shot. Nice assist for Wes Unseld. And we will take those every single day of the week. Look at him getting on transition, playmaking, and making the right pass, making the read, making the shot. I shouldn't have really shouldn't have done that i'm not gonna lie i swung too far switched it and i wasn't able to get back with donna mitchell and then i just ran out of the play with Kawhi. why did i run out of the play with Kawhi? i don't know because i guess i wanted to give him a three-pointer but burst in this way again attack the rim let's get inside oh i could have probably just gotten inside there kick it out again though donovan mitchell is open and he is scoping let's go i got a green but i hit it good shot by donovan mitchell and we will take that as well every single day of the week we're cooking right now this is good stuff go onto the screen now rotate back over now play from the hash switch this i'm good with that i'm good with that d mitch is getting a contest you're forcing and you should not be forcing and guess who has play take how many power forwards in this game have play take right now i'll give you the answer i don't know exactly how many but it's not very many but he's also a playmaker he's gonna get downhill get himself a dunk eight points two assists point unselled coming out right now love to see it I will never forget, I think 2K20 was, uh, maybe, yeah, I think it was 2K20. We got a pink diamond out of position point guard, Wes Unseld. And that was one of my favorite budget cards in the history of my team, legitimately. And so I've had a soft spot in my heart for Wes Unseld ever since. And we got ourselves another point big right here. He's not a true primary ball handler. He's nothing of the sort, obviously. Sigs aren't there. He doesn't have the playmaking badges for it. But with play take and the ability to pass the ball, as well as having capable speed, uh, really being a threat on the interior as a dunker, but also on the outside as a shooter, there's a lot of versatility stuff that you can get out of a guy like Wes Unseld. And then defensively, I have no issues with him. I feel like he's fine defensively at the four. This card is really interesting to me and a really fun option at the power forward position. For me personally, this is by far the most interesting of the no money spent type of cards that came out today. Uh, Wes Unseld is really the only card from today that I'm actually considering trying to target on my no money spent account because probably going to have like a big bulk episode here in a couple of days where I grind out a couple different cards. And I think Wes Unseld might be one of them. This is why, because he's also a knockdown shooter. 20% doesn't matter. West Unsold catch and shoot with confidence. You know he's hitting, and he does. I missed my one open with him earlier, which was totally my fault, but it isn't that big of a deal because we've still been hooping. 11 3 and 2 is just the type of performance that I could really only dream of for a gameplay with a big man because generally big men can be very frustrated to do gameplays with. Dot green play take. Yup, let's go. We got Sean Kemp a little out of position, throwing it over to Donovan Mitchell. He gets himself an open three, and we are just absolutely dominating right now. 11 3 and 3. By Wes Unseld, we have had literally no offensive issues this entire game. He just had a wide open layup with Steve Smith that he just decided not to shoot. Uh, I'm guarding that fade. Imagine me giving that up. Ha, you thought. Very funny. Throw it up to him again. We're going to push the floor. We're going to swing the ball. Paul George from Narnia. I don't care. I got play take. Is that not greenable? I know he doesn't. I know Paul George doesn't have takeover, but is that not a greenable shot off a of play take? I feel like that should be makeable. Good D. Oh my goodness. We're playing lanes. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Throw a lob. No, not to your. Okay, whatever. I'll take the dunk. I was trying to throw a lob to West Sunset, but I'll take the self lob from Embiid. Gonna get ourselves a very impressive win. 11 3 and 3 for West Sunset against a dude who actually like legitimately knew what he was doing. The defensive versatility is there. Card is really, really solid. Donna Mitchell gets stuck there and we get up a three. We're still going to wind up winning this game quite comfortably. Really impressed by Wes Unseld. Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review the card. This Wes Unseld card is low-key a beast. I think I'm taking him over all the Ruby Power Fords, except for maybe Joe Smith. I might take Joe Smith over him. Joe Smith has a size advantage, and I love Joe Smith's release too, but I think this Wes Unseld card is super versatile and super good. He's a legitimately great budget Power Forward option in my team, and the fact you can get him for free is something I'm a huge fan of as well. His agenda group will take you probably a couple hours to complete, but not too hard, and you can get the card for free. This is a card I will strongly be considering adding to the lineup on the No Money Spent account. Not 100% sure I'm going to put the two hours into this card specifically, because I know I'm already getting Steve Smith on that account we'll have to wait and see on what tomorrow's content probably looks like as well but uh yeah i mean west on gonna be a great card so with that being said that is gonna do it for this video i hope y'all did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace